Okay, hey scrappers. I um, got a package in the mail today and it's from joans.com. So I thought I would go ahead and make a video to share with you guys. Um, last week they had a sale for 40% off um, Sizzix dies. So I went ahead and I picked up a, a few, like, um, oh, I think, I think it was like $35 maybe. I think that's what I spent. I, um, let's see here. Um, with the tax, I spent right around $35. And this is, um, what I got. I got the Movers and Shapers Bigs Die. Um, and this one is the Styled Labels by Tim Holtz Alterations. So I'm really excited about that one. And then I got, and Tim Holtz on... Alterations on the Edge die, and this one is the scroll work. Really pretty. This is like the scroll work, like it's in the, um, like he has on, um, the grunge board. Like if you get the grunge board that already has, like, the stuff punched out, that's like one of the designs. And then also I got on the Edge, um, Tim Holtz alteration die scallops. And again, you get two. In this one, you get two. You get, um, this top one here and then this one here so you get one on one side and one on the other side but um, this side here you just get one edge because it is deeper I guess they, they could have squeezed a small one in there if they really wanted to but they didn't but I, I'm excited about that then I got um, this Sizzix die and this is a big die and this is a frame back ornate number two isn't that gorgeous I love that frame it's so pretty I I can, um, they have a little cutout sample in here. And I got really good prices on this stuff, guys. I got four dies for $35. So, you know, and that's with tax, and I think tax was a few dollars, so. This is what the, the ornate frame looks like. Isn't that pretty? It's just, you know, so different, and then, you know, you can do so many things, and you can definitely, um, like, if you could take, like, your circle punch, that'd be really cool. Like, take a circle punch and punch out right here and right here and kind of make, like, a frame. That would be really neat. But that was, that's what I got from joannes.com. And then I wanted to share, um, a tag with you guys that I made and, um, and a flower as well. Well, actually, two flowers. And... Another finish tag, okay. Um, last time, um, I showed you guys this tag here, but I don't, some, with my computer messing up, it, I didn't upload the video, so I'm just gonna go ahead and show it now. So I made, um, you guys remember when I did the background, and so I added some, um, I, I believe I did show this tag. Where I added like the the Prima pearls and this. Well, I just added a couple more things to it, and I took my um my black um, watercolors, and I just went around on the tips, so it kind of gave a little more dimension. And then I couldn't figure out what I wanted to put here for the ribbon, but um I got this Christmas ribbon from Christy, uh, Christy for teacher. Thank you so much, Christy, and um. So that's what I used here, and it worked perfectly. Now the ribbon, um, the red ribbon was a bit bright, so I went over it with um, the faded burlap, and all I did was just, you know, dab this in there, and then I just ran it across the ribbon, and I kept doing that until it was all covered, and then I flipped it over and did it again. And then it just gave this, like, a perfect color match for the tag. And then, of course, that was the back of the tag. You can see how well that matches, not having this really, really bright red. And then um, I just made this uh, this little tag to slip in here with my information on it. And it can slip in on this side, or you can, you know, um, 
slip it in right here. It just, it all depends on which side you want to be the front and the back. So either side can be front and back. And then you just got this cute little information tag. And then um, the last thing I did to it was I took, um, hold on one second. I took um, this uh, shimmer spray. And you can get these at um, Hobby Lobby. And you can also get these at Joann's. And they're um, at Joann's. They're in the section next to like the um, all the inks and stuff. And the same in Hobby Lobby. They're next to like the stamps and all your embossing powders and stuff like that. And um, they, it comes in a two pack. One is sparkle and one is frost. And I use the sparkle one. Love this, guys. First time I used it was the other day, and oh my gosh, it is gorgeous. It gives your project such a sparkle. And you got to be careful because um, if you use too much, you get a heavy sparkle. But look how pretty this is. Because I added this sparkle to the tags. Can you see that? I mean, look how gorgeous. But it still leaves, leaves the tag vintage, but just, a you know, this subtle sparkliness. And I did that on both sides, so you can just see it. And then this tag, what I did is, um, I, this is the first time I, I finally used my, um, chalkboard glimmer mist, and I glimmer misted the tag. Now, this chalkboard glimmer mist is super glittery. I love this stuff. I'm definitely going to start getting all the other, um, colors that they have, because this stuff is gorgeous. Look at that. Isn't that a gorgeous shimmer? And I did the same thing on this side. Look at that. And then I also went over this with my um, walnut ink. that um, The eucalyptus walnut ink. And even if you go over it with the walnut ink, that glitter still shines through. Isn't that gorgeous, guys? And then I used one of my um, EK Success punches to punch that out. Okay, so that's that tag. And then that other tag, this is the one that I did for the demo. When I made the demo, it was just this um, plain tag. So I went ahead and um, I added some Primo Pearls. And um, it's a, I added a different set that was this, but they were white. And this time I took my E13 Light Suntan. Um, there you go, you can see the color. The Light Suntan um, Copic Marker. And I just colored the pearls. And then this time I colored the pearls while they were still on the plastic. That way if you accidentally um, hit off of it, you're, you don't accidentally color your tag. And then um, I colored that. And then these are some I Am Roses um, gardenias and then little I Am Roses uh, roses. And these ones are the black. And these ones, um, I did not paint these. These came black like that. And this one was a white one. And I took my eucalyptus... Uh, walnut ink spray and I spray it a lot lighter I use less than I sprayed the first one you can tell how much lighter it is because this is the first time I ever used the walnut ink because it was kind of trial and error but I sprayed a little less and then again I took my watercolors in the black and just went around the edges and then I um and then uh, this is a little like a uh, Tim Holtz memo pin I stuck that in there and um, this right here is uh, I just stamped on the regular cardstock that you can the white cardstock you can get like from Michaels and um, I stamped it with uh, this vintage Christmas like post postage stamp it's a really cool stamp and this is by Paper Inspirations and I think I got this at Hobby Lobby so I stamped that and then I um I punched it out with one of my EK Success like scalloped edges. It's a really cool punch. And then I went ahead and I sprayed it with my um oh it is the cherry blossom my cherry blossom walnut ink. And then I distressed the edges with the frayed burlap using my um ink essentials ink tool with the um, foam pad. I really like the foam pad guys. I highly recommend these. I'm not a huge fan of the felt ones. So the I use the foam ones. And so I uh, I did that. 
And then I went over all of it again with that shimmer. And this is um this was the first one I used the shimmer on. And like I said, you gotta be careful because I mean it is super glittery, so you can really get a super super glittery effect depending on how much you use. The other one was lighter. Even on the flowers. Isn't that gorgeous, guys? And then I did the same with the ribbon. And on this back side here, I um I sprayed it with the walnut ink and it was actually the walnut color, but I sprayed just a little bit. I took my paper towel and I just kind of smeared it around to give it more of an even effect. And then I um again I took my uh, frayed burlap and I distressed the the outer edges and then I went over the entire tag with my frayed burlap just kind of lightly rubbing it all in but leaving this border around this uh, stamp I um once I sprayed everything I stamped this tree image with uh, just some green um, ink and then I colored it in with my distress inks and then um, I kinda just left this lighter I didn't go over with the frayed burlap about I don't know about a quarter of an inch to half an inch around the tree and it kinda makes it look like it's uh, it's lit up it's just a really cool effect then um, I stamped my information in the middle of the tag and then I had a couple pieces of leftover uh, Prima pearls from this side from the from the edge right here so I uh, when I snipped those off I just kinda added them to accent the back of the tag and that's pretty much it guys that's that's my Christmas tag and um, I'll be sending one of these tags out to somebody. So I haven't chosen which one. I'm keeping one for myself for my Christmas tag for this year. And one is going to go out. So guys, thank you so much. And I hope you really like the tags. Now, I have some flowers to show you guys. And I only have a couple minutes to do it. Okay, this flower here is um, from I Am Roses. It was just a white flower. And um, it's kind of blurry. But I painted this with my new... Um, shimmer paints however I am not a fan of shimmer paints or I just got a really bad batch I do like it once it's painted but a lot of my shimmer paints were like really messed up and either curdled and I mean they stunk really really bad I mean really bad and some of them were completely dried some of them were so separated that you couldn't even mix them back together so I ended up returning them so I'm a little iffy on getting shimmer paints. I think I'm just going to stick with my mica powders. But they are really pretty. So as long as you get ones that you know aren't all messed up, <laughs> they do come out really pretty. Then, um, using my watercolors and using this uh, Glimmer Glam, I made this flower here. And this flower was originally this uh, flat flower that you see on the back right here. This one right here. It was um, just a white, plain um, flower from I Am Roses, and what I did was I painted them, and then I shaped them with like the end of a paintbrush into different forms, and then I, um, I layer them together, and then these bottom two layers I went over with Glimmer Glam. The top layer, to give it a different effect, is not with uh, Glimmer Glam. And then this right here is a, a mini rose from I Am Roses. And I just took a little bit of a part so um, it would fit. And then the um, I, this green part that was on it, I just put it on the back of the flower. And again, everything was painted just with uh, watercolors. So that's my, my little rose. And I really like it because it gives it some dimension. It's really pretty. Alright guys, thank you so much for um, tuning in for my haul and for my creations. Um, that's it. Bye guys.